Hi guys. Um, so doing something a little bit different with this project. Um, this is part one of my queen project that you see here behind me. Um, I started thinking about this project maybe back in October or so of 2020 and decided that um, one of the first things that I worked on in 2021 was going to be something for me. I think I needed that um, because of 2020 and all of its 2020-ness <laughs> just kind of, you know, gets to everyone um, as comfortable as I am being alone, being in the house, not doing anything, not talking to anyone. Uh, just the simple fact that I couldn't do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it without like making sure certain things were in place. It, it really bothered me. Um, and then, you know, life was also still happening outside of all of this. So um, I took this project very personally. Um, I did a lot of things that I've never done before. I'm, I'm always one that's looking to be different um, in whatever I'm doing. So I know that there are a lot of people out here um, pouring resin and getting into resin art. And I think it's, I think that's amazing. Wherever your creativity lies, I think that's great. I'm fairly new to it if you if you um, really think about it you know coming up on a year here soon of me getting into it but it's really allowed me to express myself and let out a lot of creativity um, that I've been holding on to so please stick around um, this is part one I should only have two parts I haven't finished editing the rest of it but this is part one um, of the Queen project uh, I do walk you through a fair amount of um, what I'm doing, where I got certain things from and things like that. And also um, stay tuned um, for some things coming up for me uh, in the near future. All right, have a great day. Okay guys, um, so here we go. A couple of things that I don't have on camera is me painting the boards. Um, these are actually wood canvases. They're 24 by 30, I got them from Blick. I painted them with a couple of coats of acrylic paint. That top coat is called Metallic Cold Ball, Cold Ball Blue. I thought it was turquoise, but who am I? Um, that's what Artist Loft says it is, so that's what we'll call it. Um, and once I got the boards painted, I drew out my crown. As you can see, some of the white marks there. I used the white fabric print. It's because I had laying around and I needed something that was gonna show up because um, the pencil was not getting it. So I drew out my crown with the white fabric print and then I traced that the drawing that I settled on because you can see that I have a couple of drawings there. I traced that um, with a glue gun so that I would have somewhere to lay my crystals and somewhere for the resin to, to settle and not um, flow all over the board. And then I laid in some holographic vinyl. Um, this is the Cricut brand um, and I just kind of cut it into pieces so that it would fit in there. It's not 100% covered, not 100% perfect. There's some, some open areas, but I'm okay with that. The majority of it is covered in the holographic uh, it shines through the crystals. Um, also, as you can see on the boards, I have taped around the boards with um, aluminum tape. I saw that on one of the videos I was watching. I think it was by Artist Till Death, and she said it helps the resin keep a shape better. And I was I saw that after I had put the like purple paint tape around it and it was just flimsy as it wanted to be so I went to Home Depot and got some aluminum tape um, and hopefully it will work as she said it would work um, so I am filling in with two types of crystals I have um, acrylic ice or acrylic diamonds um, I got from Amazon and then I also have crushed glass and this is just clear crushed glass it's not reflective or anything like that and I love the clear crushed glass especially when I'm using this holographic effect under it um, 
because it doesn't give off silver vibes or the the reflective piece doesn't interrupt that shine through um and also i'm just not the biggest fan of silver i know i say it all the time but i'm not um so typically i take those and color them different colors but they do have their purpose so you know and also you like it i love it do what you want to do um so i am just filling that in here um i had the two buckets filled up because i actually had this filled in before i had it taped off and before i had um <laughs> the cups under it like I, I don't know what i was doing um also take a look at my new cordless heat gun i'm so excited about that i was actually kind of showing it off in the video because i was pumped um so here i am getting ready to make the points in the crown and i'm using quartz i have a few different color quartz i have a clear quartz and i have this like um blue iridescent -y quartz i forgot the name of it um and i also took some clear quartz and covered them in gold i used the um, metallic liquid paint that i found on blick as well i think i i saw that on one of artists till death's um videos and i ordered the silver gold and the copper um but i'm using all three of those and i am making my points Okay, and here um, I decided to come in and paint the um, hot glue lines gold. Um, I initially started out with this paint pen thinking it was going to be easier than a paintbrush, and I quickly learned that was not the easiest route to go. And also, um, the paint, the color from the paint pen was a little dull for. Um, my likes for this for this piece so I went and got my um I think it's the Martha Stewart gold gilding paint and then it's in the renaissance gold I believe she has two gold colors um one of them is um I would say darker than the other and, and that one is not the one that I usually use um but that's me going to um get a paintbrush and um get the gilding paint and then come back and work on um outlining the crown in gold again it doesn't have to be perfect um because you know resin still is going to be poured and um, will likely be you know covering any of the imperfections or not um this piece isn't meant to be like 100 percent perfect um nothing um it's art so you know it just kind of is what it is but i didn't want that um i don't i don't know what color was i calling it earlier as i was recording i was calling it hot glue gun clear or frosty hot glue gun or something like that um but i i knew i didn't want that to be represented in the painting so um yeah so stick around and uh, continue to watch me outline the crown
So um, I'm finished with all of that. I've filled in a couple of different times um, some of the crystals because as things move around, they start to make some space. And then I cleaned up all of the um, quartz that was on the table um, so that I can now begin to draw out the rest of uh, the geode. Um, I have a picture here <laughs> that I'm trying to show you. Um, I think I, I don't think you could see it, but I will put it in. I drew this out on a piece of paper first, um, just so that I could have um, something to go off over because my memory is terrible. And so what I'm doing now is I got my white fabric pen and I am putting in um, some border lines that I'm going to come back in and fill in um, with the hot glue gun as well so um there is a <laughs> river is what i call it that's gonna flow through the all three paintings um across the bottom and i have these different color um rocks that i'm gonna put in there and it's like a blue and like a bright blue like a turquoise and a clear um so that's my goal right now i may lay them down and not like it you know who knows um but i'm just kind of drawing out where i want to place some barriers um but some of the things that i was saying as i was recording this is every color is not going to have its own barrier i will likely mix colors within the barriers um, i didn't want to make too many barriers and have it get too busy um, and also i like my colors mixing sometimes um, but i th thought it was important to put some barriers down just because i got this big crown kind of in the middle of it um, and then i also have some other areas to where i may or may not lay some other crystals um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I know in some places I will, but I may not put them everywhere. So um, this is just me kind of, you know, looking at my drawing and then looking at the canvas and seeing if it actually works in real life. Um, and some of the lines I had to get rid of or, you know, draw a different way just because um, looking at it, you know, right in front of you you notice um some things that are missing like um there were some areas that were just too big like they had nothing going on um so i had to go back and put in some uh, some barriers just because it would have been too much um too much of i don't know but i put in some barriers again i may or may not use it so we'll see and coming up um is just a little short clip of me kind of showing what it looks like um, from my view so enjoy this um, and next up we'll be using um, my fancy dancy hot glue gun to put in all the barriers and then seeing um, if I want to lay crystals on all the places I had planned to lay crystals
Well, guys, um, we are coming to the end of part one. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.